everybody, Ann here, just sitting here on my porch, having my coffee with all of you. And I wish I could say that it is a beautiful sunny day, but it's not. It's cold, it's damp, and it's rainy. So I've got my little jacket on, and it is so warm. I just love it. So it looks like today I'm going to have to try and find some projects that don't involve being out in the rain. Um, which is ironic because I had watered all my plants yesterday, but you know what? Um, in God's time, that's just the way that it goes. And it's a blessing too because I'll capture some more water and I'm filtering more water. I filtered six gallons yesterday. I'll probably filter another six gallons today. So that's all wonderful. Um, as far as what I'm going to get done today, I don't know. I do know that I'm going to actually read the instructions to my new solar setup just to make sure that I'm solid on it, that I know what I'm doing, and that I don't mess it up. Um, I mean, there's not a whole lot of ways you can mess it up. So um, get that together and hopefully get it outside maybe later on this afternoon if it gets sunny. But last night, you guys aren't going to believe this. Check this out. Check out who visited me. And look who came back. He just showed up and started mowing everything again. Just look at that. He's mowing it all down. Mr. Lucas is the best. He just showed up. <laughs> I tell you what, I offered him money to do this and he wouldn't take it. He's just doing this just out of the goodness of his heart. This is this is a hero guy. He's a hero dude. Just look at him. They don't make him like that anymore. You know what? They just don't. What can I say? I am blessed with some awesome neighbors. So I'm either going to go into town and get him a six pack of his favorite beverage or I'm thinking of just giving him some money. Um, I offered and he, of course, said no, but I might just slip it to him like in a little card. Just put it in his mailbox. and um, Because he's got to spend money for gas and oil for that, that big rig he drives around on. And he, he recently he had, to, he had to replace the blades after he mowed my lawn the first time. And so, yeah, I think I might just give him some money. I think that that would be a good idea. Um... <laughs> And he, I mean, he came unannounced, and so I went out there and scurried out there to get all the tree limbs out, you know, from around so that he wouldn't have to drive over them. So he's just mowing, and I'm going and picking up uh, tree limbs, and he made my lawn just look beautiful again, just absolutely beautiful. So, Mr. Lucas, you are my hero. So for today's video, I'm just going to show you some things. First of all, let's talk about the walls. I have found some paneling that I think I really love and I think it's going to work for the tiny house. So here, take a look. When I was in Home Depot the other day, I went and looked at the wood paneling and I'm pretty sure this is what I'm going to get. It is really pretty. It's thicker than the normal, the, the average like oak wood paneling that you'll see. And it's a little bit more expensive. It's not like $19.97 per panel, but um, I can lift it. It's light enough for me to lift and it is just really pretty. And I could even cut this up and put it on the ceiling, I think. I think it would just really work out great. And here is a picture of, well, what somebody did with it. And you'll notice it has these little border things in between each panel, which you can use to accent different, in a, you know, a variety of ways. But I just thought it was really, really pretty. And here's an example of what somebody else did. They just did one wall. And it just, I don't know, I just like the look of it. That's the kind of look that I want instead of just the all-white you know, drywall or painted wall. So I'm going to start moving towards getting this. That means I have to get the insulation done. Art in California wanted to see what the outside of the tiny house looks like at night. So I snapped some photos and it just looks really pretty. And those motion detector lights work so well. So here, take a look at what the solar lights look like so far. Here's where I put one of them, and this is by the cucumber and uh, bean bed, and it looks really great out there. This is just before it got really dark, and it actually senses distance from a pretty far range, so that makes me really happy, and it really, really illuminates the area nicely. 
Here's the one I put out back by the rocket stove, and it really lights the area up. I love it. I'm going to check and see if there's a mode that I can set it so that it just stays on all the time when I'm out there in the dark cooking. So, yeah, this is really great. Thank you so much, Art. I love it. And here's what the tiny house looks like in the dark with the motion detector light in the front off. I wanted you to see how pretty it looks when I've got my little solar lights all lit up and whatnot. I can't wait to find places for the other solar lights, maybe around the chicken coop. Who knows? It's awesome. I really love it. And y'all know how much I love just walking around my property and finding things. And sometimes I find things when I'm not even really looking. I mean, I will just be walking, clearing some wood or something like that. And I'll look down at my feet. There will be a, a beautiful creature or some kind of weird plant or mushroom. So, you know what? I'm going to show you some pretty things that I found recently on my property. I hope you enjoy. And that's all I got for you today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.